Hi everybody, it's Stephanie, and we are gonna spin up the fiber that we hand carded recently. This is the fiber, it is alpaca, it is ancora. You can find this fiber at razzledazzlerabbitry.com. We're spinning on the Ashford Elizabeth II, like usual. This is the spinning wheel that I've had for quite a few years. I have done quite a few different videos about spinning wheels, my thoughts on them. Of course, everyone has different thoughts about um, about spinning wheels and all that good stuff, but this one, this wheel thus far has been an excellent wheel for spinning thin fibers, fine fibers like Angora and of course uh, the Wakaya alpaca it is with. So I attached the fiber onto the leader line and um, it's going to take just a little bit for my hands to warm up. If there's any vegetable matter like this, just pick it out. Vegetable, vegetable matter naturally will come out of your, your spinning, your fiber as you're spinning. So just to let you know. So yes, if you're interested in, in getting this exact fiber spinning along with me, just check it out at the Spinner Surprise Box in the shop at RazzleDazzleRabbitry.com. There's a very limited amount of this fiber left. Um, so if you are uh, interested, I'd suggest getting it right away. We're just spinning this consistently. And we're not trying to add a lot of uh, texture to it or variations in uh, the weight. So the weight is like how thick or thin the yarn is gonna be, how it's gonna end up, the weight of the yarn. Uh, the weight of the yarn is something I haven't done a lot of videos about or talked a lot about. Um, figuring out the the actual weight of your yarn. That's not something I've talked a lot about, but if it is something you're interested in, feel free to drop me a line in this video. We can always talk about that sort of thing in other videos. So what you saw me just do when I stopped and I picked out that little piece of fiber, which is it was stuck to my thumb, is I stopped and I picked out a second cut. So if you're interested in spinning fiber that is uh, that you're wanting to turn into a consistent traditional yarn, something that doesn't have a lot of variation in it, then I would suggest going to razzledazzlerabbitry.yarn. So I suggest going to the website because I have a free resource that talks about all these different, all these different ways, all this different stuff you can do to spin a more consistent yarn. And then that's a free uh, download. It's a free PDF that you can just download. There's actually a couple different PDFs available for free to download. And just in case you haven't been there in a while, there's also some free information like patterns. There's a couple free patterns. So that's just available to you if you're interested in trying to figure out how to spin a more consistent yarn. There's of course other videos that we offer that are out there that talks about that. And there's, you can see the process. I have videos from years ago spinning and you can see just using a different wheel and just the entire process of, of learning how to spin and, and continuing spinning and then uh, moving on to trying to spin professionally and then spinning professionally and all that good stuff. So those, there's videos there. So I just have two pieces of organic matter that I felt basically hay and they're a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna stop and make sure those get out. And of course, this is natural fiber. This isn't chemically treated. This is just 100% natural fiber. This has only been, the, ang the angora hasn't been washed at all. The alpaca has been washed once. So there's, there's just little bits here and there of vegetables, vegetable matter in it, and that's okay. That is okay because it comes out. It isn't difficult to pick out. There's not, I mean, it's not excessive. So where I live, it's getting it's getting closer to closer and closer to winter. The leaves have changed colors. They are falling off the trees. Every, all the the geese are flying north. So we have. The, did I just say the geese are flying north? The geese are flying south. The geese are flying. Why don't we just say the geese are flying at this point? Because sometimes 
when I'm trying to spin and I'm trying to talk and explain things and make a video, my brain is just jumping very fast from what I'm doing and what I'm saying. And then I'm looking, for example, at whatever else is going on. So it's just very distracting. So the geese are flying away. They're going far, far away. They're going south because winter is coming. Broke a little piece off. That is all right. If that happens, you just join it back on. Not a big deal. So we're spinning up an ounce of this blend. The Spinner Surprise Box. You get three ounces of it. And we divided it up. And we're going to spin it an ounce. We card it an ounce and spin that ounce at a time. You, of course, don't have to do that. You can get the fiber and decide whatever you want to do with it. But that's what we're doing. So you notice the ticking of my spinning wheel? So this Ashford Elizabeth has, Elizabeth too, has always been a bit vocal. She's been a loud wheel. She needs to be oiled right now. That's definitely one of the things that she needs. So that's a second cut I just took out. When you're going for consistent yarn, if you've already read that free PDF download about how to spin consist more consistent yarn, you'll know that's that uh, actually just picking out stuff is a beneficial thing for consistent yarn. So going from start to finish, you know, watching this hand carding, the hand carding video before this of this fiber, now spinning this up after this, once it's applied, this is a very, it's just a very fun, beautiful, relaxing process. And the yarn itself, it's always a joy when you create a yarn you want to use. And when you use it, you enjoy using it. And you just want to figure out more and more projects to make with the yarn. It's always a wonderful thing to have that experience and to be able to know you created that yarn. You know the animals or you know where that fiber came from. And it's even more important because you know, in the end, this is 100% natural fiber. This is not going to lead to uh, more microplastics. This is not going to lead to more chemicals uh, being placed into the environment. This is something that when you're done with, let's say you make a hat with this, when you're done with it and your hat has served its purpose and you have used it, you literally could just take that hat and put it in the ground and it will compost, will decompose, and it will simply just become part of the process all over again of being turned into dirt, which feeds uh, grass, for example, which can feed a rabbit, which can feed alpaca, which the alpaca can be shorn, humanely shorn. That can be, a, that fiber can be hand carded and then spun up into yarn and knit into a hat all again. So it's really, an amazing, amazing life cycle for natural fiber. And it just makes sense. Absolutely just makes sense in, in life. So we're going to keep spinning this up. I encourage you to check out uh, the things that, the resources, for example, the free resources that I discussed. I thank you for being a part of this channel. And I hope to see you again in the next video.